Once again, this is WIAA Regional Volleyball action. This is Westby, the number one seed, versus Eau Claire Regis, the number eight seed. I hope I'm not speaking out of turn. I think they're the eight seed, or the eight or the nine. I believe they were the eight seed. They, they beat Cochran Fountain City to earn this trip to Westby to face the one seed Norseman who beat Melrose Mindoro on Tuesday. And there's a serve, and we are underway. That first serve is long, and side out to Westby right away. And as we've said before on these broadcasts, that we really want to avoid unforced errors against this Westby team as Trisha Klum goes back to serve because they prey on any advantage that you give them. Collins said that it's a pretty good set taken by, and that's going to be out. Set got kind of in between Berg and Stellner, and they both kind of went up, and I think it was Berg who hit it. It went just a little bit wide. So now back to serve for Regis. Is number 12. As Berg goes cross court. Number 12 is Lexi Ridenauer. Dug out nicely by Brigan. Collins from the back row finds that back corner and good start for Emily Collins as that was very well placed from behind the 10 foot line. That's what she does well. So Bethany Rathel back to serve now for Westby. That serve goes long. So Westby gives it right back here on the side out and Margaret Morning will go back and serve for Regis. Serve is taken by Collins in the back row. Klum sets up Stellner. That was, they're gonna call that a block. And we play on here as Regis has a chance here. Blocked at the net again by that's Stellner. And I can never tell exactly who gets those, but it's usually Kenzie Stellner. She uh, leads this team in blocks. And I believe she just picked up another one, and she'll take a seat now as Olivia Nedlin comes in and will serve. Two to two here very early in game one. That one fell over, and Collins was there, and it hit the net, but tipped up and not played by Regis. So Nedlin will continue to serve. Nedlin's serve is taken by the libero, set up nicely in the middle there. That was a great, great set and a successful attack by trying to, trying to get the number. Official is right in my way. Next time I see Roger, I'll have to give him a hard time. He's got to move that ladder over a little for me. Well, I'll try to get it a little bit later. Clum sets Berg. This is Berg's first chance, and she takes advantage. She knocks that one down. And a good time to bring up Jada Berg leads this team in kills coming into this according to a website I found as a serve. Berg also leads in service aces. That's taken by Rachel Klum runs underneath that. She's gonna have a free hit that one and that one's gonna be tipped up and that's gonna go backside out to Regis. So Jada Berg leads this team in kills with 286 coming into tonight and that's good enough for eighth in the entire state according to WIS Sports. So serving now for Regis. And Collins able to tip that one over and that one stays in. I believe that was Sydney Marks serving for Regis. Regis has those green numbers on those black shirts, and they have to turn it just right for me to see them. I apologize. I'll try to get better as the night goes with the names. That, sir, that goes long. That was number eight, Margaret Mooring. No, I'm sorry. I read that number wrong as well. As Brigham serves now for West Bean. That's a free hit. Kerner, who has entered the game, takes it now. It's set up nicely for Rathel. Rathel's first try goes a little bit wide. And that one will go side out to Regis. So Regis ready to serve here now. That's number 11. That's Macy Cullinan. And tipped up, but not far enough by... 
Emily Collins, and Regis is hanging tough here in game one. It's now six serving seven as Cullinan back to serve for Regis. Must be with a chance here. Here's Rathel. Dug out nicely by Regis. Tipped over the top. Comey keeps it up and alive. Now Kerner sets. This is going to be Brigham from the back row. She drops it right in front. Didn't hit that one all that hard, but she's got it over the top of the Regis block attempt and right into no man's land for the side out. Nice play by Kennedy Brigham. So Emily Collins back to serve now. Her serve was a good one. Kerner to Collins from the back row. She likes that spot and he paints that line in the back row. What a shot by Emily Collins. Well, Collins continues to serve. That one paints the back line. Well, that was a great play. That was number 12, Lexi Ridenauer. She hits that line in the back. Side out to Regis. 9-7, Wesby with the lead. That was Adeline Gardner with a serve, I believe. Rayfield tips that one over. That's in a tough spot. Kept alive. Unable to clear it, though, is Regis. Nice play by Bethany Rayfield. Great attempt by Regis. Just fell a little short here now as Berg and Klum re-enter the game. And Klum will go back to serve. Westby leads 10-7 here. We're in game one. That's Berg. Berg with another try there. That's dug out nicely by Morning. Now Morning and Bump sets that one over, and Clum hits that one up through the ref. Didn't touch anything, amazingly. Now Berg, Brigham from the back row, and this hits that one a little bit, and that goes into the net. So side out to Regis. And this is number 12, Lexi Ridenauer, serving for the Ramblers, Lady Ramblers. Klum now sets Stellner. Stellner times that one dug out nicely by Klum. Free hit for Berg. Morning. Dug out nicely there by Kennedy Brigham. Klum keeps it alive. Berg with the free hit. They play on here. Sets up middle through the block attempt. Collins able to clear it, but it's going to land out of bounds. Regis looking to tie this one up here. It is 10 to 9, Westby. A little far side to Berg and Berg. That's, a, that's an opportunity that Westby always hunts for. And when they get it, good things usually happen. As that was a great set, and Berg did not miss that one. Now, Rafel back to serve. 11 serving 9 here. Well, getting about halfway through game one. And that ferve is out, as that was just a bit long. So a service error for Rathel gives Regis the side out and Morning, Margaret Morning, back to serve for the Lady Ramblers. Brigham tips that one over very nicely. And that's going to be tie this one up at 11 and Arena Coach Arena Kwame is going to take a timeout. So we're going to do the same. We'll be back here in just a minute. And welcome back to the Westby Fieldhouse. We're tied at 11 here in game one, coming out of a Westby timeout. Margaret Morning serves for the Lady Ramblers. This is Brigham. Brigham taps over, taken by Regis. Going to get a nice shot here, attempt, and that's off the fingers there. And Sydney marks that time with the attempt, successful attack. And Regis has his first lead of the game here at 12 to 11. Senior Margaret Morning continues to serve for the Lady Ramblers. Yeah. 
serve. Great serve. Nice job by Collins there to keep that one up. Here's a good attack for Regis, and they take advantage off the top of the net, rolled over the side and found a hole. Now they have a 13 to 11 lead. A nice run here for Eau Claire Regis. Kind of you know, that one set up perfectly. Nice job by Clem to keep that one alive, but Collins couldn't get that one going. And Regis showing here early that they're not not really scared of the one seed. Kind of really taking it to them here the last, oh, I don't know, six or seven serves. And there, nice little touch shot there by Kenzie Stellner. And that gets it a big side out for Westby. Now Olivia Nedlin checks in, and she will go in and serve for the Lady Norris. And there's a good serve and an errant pass by Regis. And that'll be an ace for Olivia Nedlin. Looking to tie this one up for Westby now. It's his 13 serving 14. Good chance for Regis to hit that one long. Clumont dove after it, but she did not make contact with it. So Westby hasn't tied it up. Olivia Nedlin continues to serve for the Lady Norris. Black jumped at the net, and that goes out of bounds. So side out for Regis. And now Regis serves here with the one-point lead, 15-14. There's been a good one, a little miscommunication there. That goes between Ratho and Brigham. And that'll be a, no doubt about it, ace for Regis. Once again, I'm trying to see that number, but they're very hard to, for me to pick up. I believe it's Lillian Lewis serving. As Berg gets a chance, and that hits off of number one, Emma Klink. And a big side out for Westby. And now Jada Berg will serve, looking to even things up at 16. So game one has turned into a real nail-biter here. Berg serve is a good one. Oh, nice play there. And be able to keep it alive. Now Klum, golden opportunity for Westby. Regis, nice job picking that one out. Behind the 10-foot line is Berg, and she hits that one long, and set got her a little bit off of rhythm, I think, and that one ended up going long. So now Kerner and Comey will check in. Regis leads 17-15, and they have the serve. We got a Regis player tying her shoe with everybody watching, and I don't think it's going as well as she would like. Yeah, now she's ready. And once again, I'll try to get that number for you. That serve is a good one, but it goes long. Boy, I thought that one was good. That was number 15, I believe, Sydney Marks. So now Kennedy Brigham will go back and try to tie this one up again at 17 now. Brigham's serve is good. Boy, that hits the back line. That'll be an ace for Kennedy Brigham. Elected to let that one go, and that was well inside the line in the back row. So Brigham now looking to get regain the lead for Westby. It's tied at 17 here. We're in game one of this regional. It was played by Marks. Blocked at the net by Comey. But Regis doing a nice job clearing that. Now Rathel from the far side. That one's up into the rafters, but Regis has a shot here, and they are able to clear it. Nice play there by Eau Claire Regis. Now Kerner sets Collins in the middle. That one's tipped up at the net, hit twice, and Emily Collins gives Westby the lead back here at 18-17. This is a crucial run here for both teams. As we're getting down to the wire here a little bit, 18-17, we're in game one. Brigham serve. Blocked at the net, Kerner. Now Nedlin comes up, sets far side to Comey, and Comey's been able to get in on the action there. She hits that one toward the back line and unable to play by Morning. 
and 1917. So Westby responding well here. Nice run, and Regis senses this run coming, and they're going to take a timeout. So a nice run by Westby has given them a 1917 lead here. Timeout on the floor. So with that, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. And we're back at the Westby Fieldhouse here. We've got a great one going here. Kennedy Brigham serving, leading 19-17 in game one. And Brigham serve is taken in the back row. And he's set up nicely. Good opportunity. A block to the net by Comey and Collins again. There's another tip up at the net. Comey tries again. Nice dig there by Bethany Rathel. That one was blocked at the net. Now Collins tries, and that's blocked off, and that's going to go into the crowd for a big-time attack, central attack for Emily Collins. And there's that magic 20th point. So 20 to 17, Westby looking to take total control of this one. Nice bounce back by Westby as they were down 16 to 14 at one time. 14 to 11, I believe, one time as well, too. But it looks like Maddie Comey is just all over the front of that front of that net. She gets her hands on another one, but another one can't come up and can dig that one. So Maddie Comey doing a nice job in front of the net. She's blocked quite a few of them. But 2018 side out to Regis, and this is number 11, Macy Cullinan, back to serve for the Lady Ramblers. Been a thrilling game one here. This is Rathel. That was tipped up at the net. But capped in play. Regis does a real nice job just keeping things in play. Rathel, that was blocked at the net. Hit back by Stellner. Comey standing hit. And that one's going to go out of bounds. So a nice try there by number 12, Lexi Riddenauer. But it went just about a foot too far. And 21 to 18 with Emily Collins now serving for the Lady Norris. That's a good serve, taken in the back row, set up nicely, golden opportunity. Good job by Comey, got down and digged that one up. Now Kerner, a little miscommunication, but great job by Kennedy Brigham. I don't know how she did that, but a great shot out of that. Blocked at the net, but couldn't get it over on the right side of the net. Well, what a play by Kennedy Brigham as she went over there and fired that ball back from a horrible angle, but to no avail as Regis ends up with a side out. 21-19. This is Adeline Gardner, I believe, serving for Regis. Brigham with a dig. Collins from the back row likes that spot. Oh, what a play by Morning. Now Kerner sets up Rathel. Rathel hits that one wide. And it's 21-20. Boy, good volleyball tonight. Very good volleyball by both sides. Got a feeling we're going to see more than three games tonight. With Brigham... And that one into the net, and that uh, break for the Lady Norris is now 22 to 20. And that's going to bring in Klum and Berg back into the ballgame. Klum will go back and serve. Leading 22 to 20 here. We're getting late in game one. Klum serve goes into the net, and that's a service error. And... Regis can serve now for the tie here. Lexi Rittenauer back to serve for the Ramblers. That serve goes out of bounds. So they give it right back. Now 23-21 with Rathel serving. Big service air there for Regis. Set up nicely. They got a shot here. Rathel's in the back row. Now Klum has her choice, finds Berg. Berg just taps that one, but that's going to fall. And now Westby's looking at game point. Berg went with the finesse on that side and worked out. Bethany Rathel now serves for game one. It's been a tight contested one, 24-21. Westby with the lead. Rathel's serve is good, taken by Morning. Black with the net by Stellner, and Westby has taken game one. What a great play by Kenzie Stellner, and we just very good game, but Westby was able to come back and take this game one with that. We're going to take a break. It's one nothing now. Westby will be back with game two in just a minute.
Well, we're back at the, the Westby Fieldhouse here. We're just about to start game two. Westby, a 25-21 winner in game one. And Westby serves first here. Trisha Klum comes and we're underway. Taken by... That's tipped and block attempt goes right through. That is Lexi Rittenauer, the senior, who's having a nice night. And she gets on the board first for Regis, side out. And this is Adeline Gardner back serving now for the Lady Ramblers. It's a good serve taken by Collins. Now Brigham hits up to the front. Now free hit by Stellner. Opportunity for... Regis and makes do, makes good of it. That's number seven, Lillian Lewis. Serve goes long. Serve goes long for Gardner and side out and the first point of the game for Westby as their ethel goes back to serve. It was great dig by Rathel. Collins from the back row with a free hit and opportunity here for Regis to go far back. Rudenauer blocked, kept alive by Klum to Berg. Morning's able to dig that one out. Collins able to now an opportunity for Westby to go backside to Berg and Berg hammers it down. <laughs> so Jada Berg Good start here to game two. Ties this one up at two. As Rathel serves. Plum goes far side to Brigham now. Blocked at the net. Kept alive by Plum. Brigham keeps it alive. And that's going to be four hits. Excuse me. Sorry about that. As Rittenauer back to serve for, well, it's a good serve. Drop in front of Collins. Collins, a nice job. Good dig there by Rathel. Berg with another chance. Blocked at the net, but out of bounds. Another successful attack for Jada Berg. And now Olivia Nedlin back into the ball game to serve. We're tied at three here in the early goings of game two. Westby with a 1-0 lead. That one through the fingers of Nedlin. And Margaret Morning back to serve now for the Lady Ramblers. Rathel, nice pass there to Klum. Gives Collins an opportunity taken by Morning. Oh, great dig by Bethany Wraith. The boy, she's having a fantastic game in that back row. And that one's taken by Brigham and hit up in the back row for the Westby point and side out as Jada Burr goes back to serve for the Lady Norse. Tied at four. Oh, good block at the net by Collins. Oh, that's a great shot. That's in. That paints that line. That was number 15, I believe, Sydney Marks with a nice shot across court hitting that sideline. So Regis takes the lead again, 5-4. And Emma Klink back serving for Eau Claire Regis. That goes into the net. They side out to Lefty. And now Kennedy Brigham serves for the Lady Norris. Tied at five. Tipped over, blocked up there by Collins. That's into the net, and Westby's going to take control of that. So what, Emily Collins kind of forcing her will on that front middle there. Last couple of points. And Brigham serves again. That's tipped up at the net. Nice job by Brigham. Boy, a couple of nice, really 
plays by Briggins tonight. And that was as good as any of them. And another dig by Briggin, but that's going to go out of bounds. So Regis ties it up at six. Sidney Marks back to serve for the Lady Ramblers. And that one, an errant pass by the back row of the Norse. Gives Eau Claire Regis the lead here at 7-6. Sydney Marks continues serves for Regis. Collins just free hits that one over. Tipped up at the line. Another nice dig by Kennedy Brigham. Rathel with a shot there. Regis keeps it alive. Boy, they've been doing a real good job of that tonight. Now Kerner sets Collins, goes back to Rathel. Collins that one through, and good. <laughs> Bethany Rathel with the point. So Emily Collins back to serve now for Westby. Tied at seven, and that's going to be an ace as that finds that back corner. Nice serve there by Emily Collins. Blocked at the net, but on the wrong side there. That was Rachel and Stellner. Regis is going to come away with that side out. And Macy Cullinan will be back to serve for Regis. We're tied at eight. Looking to be another well-contested game here. That one lands in. Drops in for an ace. Regis retakes the lead here, nine to eight. That serve is short, and that falls right in front of everybody. Just cleared the net, but nobody, nobody home for the Lady Norse now. Well, I've done some scoreboard adjusting. I'm not sure what's right here at this point. Nine to nine, they have it. Another short serve, but Kerner takes this one. Rafel hits that one wide. Yep, now they've re redid it now. It'll just be 11 to 8, I believe, Regis. <laughs> Another short serve taken by Kerner. Collins from the back row. Threw a block attempt and good. Boy, Emily Collins said enough of this. And she gets the side out for the Lady Norse, and that allows Trisha Klum and Jada Berg to re-enter. And Klum will go back and serve, trailing 11-9. That's a great shot down the line by Lillian Lewis. Side right back out to Eau Claire Regis. There's a point for Regis. <laughs> Another point for Regis, and we're going to have a timeout. Regis leads 14 to 9. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back after this. Okay, we're back here coming out of the timeout. Regis has built a 14-9 lead here in game two, looking to tie this one up at one apiece. We've got Adeline Gardner serving, and that's going to be another successful serve for Regis. They're on a roll here now, 15-9. This one's getting out of hand. Clum unable to go get that one. Yeah. 
16 to 9 now. What a run by Regis. They're, they're really pulling away in game two here, looking to even things up. Nice play there by. There's Jada Berg. She puts an end to that run. Well, Jada Berg, a much needed point there for Westby. And Rafa will go back to serve. Trailing now 16 to 10. So 10 serving 16. As Bethany Rafa goes back to try to cut into this Regis lead. No room for air now if you're the Lady Norris as Clum back sets this one. This is Berg. She's going to give him a try. And I tell you what, that's what I would do too. Try to get it to your uh, your, your kills leader there, Jada Berg. And she is uh, she's not disappointed tonight. She has done very well. I mean, she's taken advantage of all her opportunities. And it's 11 serving 16 now. The Rathel serve is good, taken by Morning. Gardner sets up. Now Klum sets Berg again, and Berg again with the kill. And I, I, I think that's going to be the message here for a while, as, many, as long as you can, until they can stop it. We're not really putting many, you know, the multiple players at the net like I've, I've seen. And they're just allowing Berg to kind of free hit wherever she wants, and she is really taking advantage. And now there's a service. Receiving air, and Rathel has served them back into this one with that ace. It's now 13 serving 16. 13 serving 16. It was 16 to 9 at one point. Now Rathel serves again. That's a good one taken by Morning. Just kind of clears that one, and now Clum's got another opportunity. He goes far side to Brigham this time, and Brigham hits that one into the net. So side out to the Lady Ramblers and Lexi Rittenauer back to serve for Regis. Now Klum goes back to Berg again, and Berg doesn't miss again. And I tell you what, I mean, there, there's uh, no one's a little bit farther back, but Jada Berg is firing on all cylinders right now as Nedland comes in to serve. She takes the spot of Kenzie Stellner. Nedland serve is a good one taken by Morning. Nice shot there, and that was a great play by, that's number 15, Sydney Marks. Side out to Regis, and Margaret Morning will go back and serve 18-14, Regis with the lead in game two. That serve is a good one, taken by Rafel. Clum goes to Collins, and Collins finds that back corner. Boy, if they can get Collins and Berg going here at the same time, that would be... A big help in trying to get back into this one. It's 15, serving 18 now as Berg goes back to serve. Berg serves a good one, taken by Riddenauer in the back row. Blocked at the net, kept alive by Berg. Nedlin puts it back into the middle. West has a chance. Nice job at Berg to keep that one alive. Opportunity for Regis. Blocked at the net. But they're going to get another shot at it here. And then now a golden opportunity for Westby as Brigham hits that one played by Morning. Big time shot and a big time dig. And mm, net violation on Regis. But it's the first one we've seen tonight. That's a, there's a couple of good volleyball teams. And Berg continues to serve now. 16 serving 18. And that's going to be... A double hit on the set. And Berg's looking to tie this one up. It was 16 to 9 at one point. Now Berg trying to serve to tie this one at 18. And that's going to happen as that not played very well in the back row for Regis. And now Regis is going to take a timeout. Westby has come all the way back to tie this one at 18. So with that, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. 18 18 in game two. And we're. We're back here at the Westby Fieldhouse. Jada Berg now serving for the lead. Come all the way back, 16 to nine at one point. And Westby kind of went on a run to get within three. And now Berg has completed the comeback and we're tied at 18. So Regis out of the timeout. 
Gets something right. Bird keeps that one up. Now Klum sets back row to Rathel. It's a good spot for her. Dug out nicely by Regis. Opportunity here. Nedlin takes a golden opportunity here now. As Klum takes that one herself. Nice dig by Bethany Rathel. Now Klum goes, sets up Brigham. Brigham taps over short. That's into the net and good. So Finesse pays off again. As Kennedy Brigham, who's had a nice night, gives Westby the lead here. 1918, Berg still serving. Very good run here by Westby this morning. Sets. Rathel now to Klum. Klum takes that one herself, and that's not going to be play, and that was off of Gardner. So Klum takes that one herself, and it works out this time. And we're going to get another timeout here by Regis Westby. Now leads 20 to 18. We'll be right back. And we're back here at the field house. Berg still serving now, 20 serving 18. Incredible run by the Lady Norse to come and take back and take this lead. Golden opportunity blocked at the net by Collins. And that one falls to the floor. Emily Collins with the block, and Regis could not return it. 21-18. Now Berg serves again. Taken by Rittenauer. Set up. Oh, golden opportunity again. Brigham goes Collins in the middle and dug out nicely by Morning, but right at the net. That was Klum who tapped that one back over. Nice job at the net. Played out nicely by Brigham, but not able to do it. So a much needed side out for Regis. And that'll bring in Kaylee Kerner and Maddie Comey for Westby. And along with Emma Klink in for Maya Rittenauer. And Klink will go back and serve for the Ramblers. 21-19, Westby with the lead. Good serve, and that's long. Big break for Westby. That was a good serve. Had a lot on that one, but it went just about a foot too far. And now Brigham serves 22-19. Getting very late here in game two. Morning takes that. Set up nicely, and that's going to go long. So, wow, Westby has really taken control here. 23-19. And Brigham serving for the Lady Norris. They're in a very good position now. That one's played in the back row by Clink. Oh, nice shot there by Sydney Marks. So she's had a nice night, and she's just found, found the place where nobody was and hammered it right into there. And she'll go back and serve. Sydney Marks, that is, for Regis. Not over yet. 23-20, Westby with the lead. Good serve. Rathel takes that one. Kerner sets up Collins in the middle, and Collins with a boom, that's up into the rafters, and unable to be played out of there by Regis. Great set by Kaylee Kerner, gave Emily Collins a chance to hammer that one down, and now Westby serves for game two. And that Kerner goes into the net and falls short. Another service error for the Lady Norris. So now it's 24-20, and Macy... Mason Cullinan back to serve now for Regis. 24-21. Game point for the Lady Norris. That serve falls short. Stellner takes it. She's going to get this right back. Chance to win this one. Blocked up nicely. Oh, great play by Collins. Let's keep that one alive. Regis is going to be able to clear it. Oh, that goes long. So Westby is winner of game two. Once again, they were down a 16 to 16-9. And they were not looking good. And they have come back and taken game to 25-21 again. So Westby jumps out to a 2-0 lead. And boy, for Regis, you really got to be kind of kicking yourselves on that one. They had, they had Westby right where they wanted them and couldn't close the deal. So now Westby comes back looking to, for the sweep. Regis looking to keep this one going. So we will be back here after a little bit of a break. Westby has a 2-0 lead here in the regional round of, well, I guess we'll call it the second round of the WIAA regionals. So with that, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.
Well, we're back here at the Westby Fieldhouse for Game 3. Westby with a 2-0 lead, a thrilling Game 2 win, 25-21. Trailed big, 16-9, but they were able to come back. They actually took an 18-16 lead before closing it out, 25-21. So now, Regis serves with Gardner starting serve in Game 3, and we're underway. And Rafel goes through the bench over there to try to get that errant pass. But anyway, Regis on the board here first. They lead 1-0. Stellner gets a crack here. That's played by Morning. Collins from the back row. Golden opportunity here. Clumps that's far side to Rathel through the block attempt, and that falls to the ground. So Westby with the side out evens this one up at one. And Trisha Clum will go back and serve for the Lady Norris. That one tipped up and can't get over the net, so Clum will continue to serve. Once again, we're in game three. Westby with a 2-0 lead, but they've been hard-fought victories. Clum's serve is a good one. Now a golden opportunity for the Lady Norse. This is Rathel. Rathel through the block attempt, but Regis able to play, and Riddenauer gets a shot, tipped up by Berg at the net. Another golden opportunity for Rathel. She tips over the top. Oh, what a play in that front row. I couldn't see if that was Riddenauer or that one was the other Riddenauer. Tipped up, but that was in the no man's land and drops for the Westby point. Really nice play at the net. I believe that might have been Lillian Lewis who kind of just back tapped that uh, tap attempt by Rathel. But at any rate, Clum still serves for Westby. That tips the top of the net. Nice, nice play by Lewis. Boy, her reactions are fantastic. But that goes into the net. Makes a great play. Had a chance there, but timing a bit off. And it goes into the net. And Clum still serving for. Westby leading four to one. Lewis blocked at the net by Stellner. Boy, that's Stellner. Just uh, Kenzie Stellner in that middle. Not the tallest player, but boy, I tell you what, she has got that blocking down. She's rarely, it's rare that she doesn't get her hands on something as it comes across the net. And that time, she stuffs that one down. We're going to have a timeout. Westby out to an early 5-1 to one lead here in Game 3. We'll be right back. Oh, we're back at the Westby Fieldhouse, ready to go here. Trisha Klum looking to add to the lead here. 5-1 to one Westby with the lead in Game 3, looking for the sweep. And that's a good, oh, what a great play by... Clink keeps that one alive, but an opportunity for Berg. Oh, tipped back up and over, and what a play. And when West be able to recover with Berg. I've seen a lot of that from both teams tonight. It's fantastic stuff. As Clum keeps that one. That's a great set for Rathel. She'll get a crack at it. And that one goes into the net. A little miss hit there by Lexi Riddenauer. But, boy, I tell you, both teams in that play. Just reaction times and hitting balls that they shouldn't be able to hit accurately, and been really fun to watch by both teams so far as Clum is on a roll here for Westby. Blocked at the net and Stellar keeps it up over and in. That's definitely in. I don't... It didn't look right. That means nothing coming from me, but Stellar blocked it, blocked it again and then it just fell over the net. What a play. That one's block. That goes through the block attempt there. Lexi Riddenauer much needed side out for Regis as it's now 7-2. to two, But a great run of serving for Trisha Klum. And Westby off to a hot start here in game three. Now Riddenauer serves. Rachel, a great pass. It's going to set up Stellner. Boy, I tell you what. They're really, really aggressive on Kenzie Stellner coming up to that net. And that's about at least the third time I think Stellner's just able to tip it right over the top of him. And been successful with that. Now Rathel serves, 8-2. Oh, great dig by Emily Collins. Going to give Rathel a shot from the back row, dug out by Morning. Sets up, ooh, number 15, Sydney Marks, and she's had a fantastic night, and she 
hammers that one to the back line for the side out. And Morning, Margaret Morning will go back and serve for Regis. It's a good serve taken by Collins. Clum runs a long way to get that one. Collins going to try to clear it and is able to. But an opportunity for Regis, and they're going to take advantage of it as got the set to the middle. And Morning still serves. Brigham, said by Morning. Rathel keeps that one alive, but it goes a little wide. That was Lillian Lewis on that last attack. I was trying to see the number. Lillian was just a freshman, but she's playing, playing fantastic tonight. Eight to five now, Regis chipping away. Clum, this is Berg's first champ. She goes soft this time. Rittenauer able to play it. Through the block attempt, that's number 15. That's Sydney Marks again. And a nice run, and just like that, it's eight to six. So Regis kind of canceled that hot start by Westby, and they're right back into this one. And no reason to believe this won't be another highly contested game. Rathel, that one's into the net a little too far, but she's going to get right back and able to clear it. And that was a this time they kind of set got her off balance there as Marks miss hits on that one. And that'll be a side out to Westby. Olivia Nedlin in for Stellar now to serve, leading nine to six. Nedlin served, drops taken by Ridenauer. Set up nicely, and that's going to be in. Tipped at the net and falls in. That's William Lewis again. So nine seven. Collins, boy, that was set up beautifully. Trisha Clum with a great, great set. Collins flew into that one, and boy, left no doubt. Just hammers that one down. Now Berg goes back to serve. Jada Berg on that, uh, that key service run in game two brought them from three down to three up, I believe, in game two. As that's tipped over. Clum finds no man's land back there. Great play by Trisha Clum. Kind of took that one herself. Not usually her thing, but saw nobody back there and just kind of punched it over. And Regis not able to get there. So Berg serves now 11-7. And I've noticed when Jada's right, maybe I, maybe we're going to get uh, a double hit there. But Jada Berg is serving, and she gets on a roll. She wastes no time. She gets that ball, that whistle goes. She wants to play fast, and, and she gets the whistle, and here she goes again. That drops that one in front. Great play by Morning, but an opportunity for the Lady Norris. This is Brigham. Blocked at the net by Emily Collins. And that lands inbound. So another run here. Westby answers the run with a run of their own. And we just coach Travis Eichner is going to waste no time. He's not going to try to bust this up a little bit. 13 7. Westby with the lead here in game three, looking for the sweep. We're going to take a break and be right back. Well, we're back at the Westby Fieldhouse. Westby with a 13 to seven lead. Jada Berg serves. And Regis taking every second of that time out. But she's ready to serve now. Here's the whistle and here's the serve. That's a good one. But set up nicely, blocked at the net by Collins. Oh, she's gonna get a chance here. But hits it back, taken by Regis. Nice play. Oh, great dig by, tries again, and that goes long. Wow, what a great play by Bethany Rathel. Nice try by Sydney Marks. Got it right back. Tried to hit it, hit it a little bit too long. So now 14-7, Berg still serves. Berg hits the top of the boy. Great play by Morning to, to handle that serve. Marks dug out by Rathel. Clum, she's going to set back row to Rathel. Rathel goes down the sideline. And that goes into the net for Marks. And Berg continues to serve, but her serving has really given Westby a lot of points tonight and a big runs. She's gonna try from the back row, just kind of a two-hand flip over the top. 
Lewis. Oh, nice play by Jada Berg from the back row. I'll bring in hits. Mark's going to try again. Berg tries to play that one, and it's then. So that ends the run. 15 to 8, Westby with the lead. And Marks will go back and serve for Eau Claire Regis. Well, that's a great hole. That was a good looking serve. It just, just hit the top of the net, but that had a, a lot of steam on that one. So side out, back right to. Westby and Kennedy Briggins serves. Well, that serve kind of ate up Marks in the back, but what another just great play by Regis. This is going to give Rathel a shot. That's tipped on the sideline by Regis. I don't know if I could, from my angle, I can't tell if that would have been in or not, but a great diving attempt, but Rathel scores. And now Briggins back to serve. 17 to 8. Westby starting to run away with this one. Getting kind of late for Regis as that one goes long. Brigand serve taken by Marks. Nedlin, good serve to Rafel, and Rafel pounds the back line, and now. 18 to 8. Brigham still serving. So Westby starting on that one. I don't. I thought that would have been a double hit. Either way, it was not played in three hits by Regis. So 20 to 8. Westby kind of running away with game three, but it's been their good play. You know, not really anything Regis can do. They're, they've had some good play, and there's one that's just long, and that's kind of what's been, the, that's been in the, that's the game here, and a little frustration there. That was clearly, clearly long, and uh, a couple of the Regis players disagreed a little bit. And ooh, Regis able to clear this. Student section believes that they're going to win. And be a little premature for that, I guess. Rathel. Oh, that's a great shot, and Mark's unable to handle that. And now it's 22 to 8. We're going to serve. Nice serve to the back line. Rittenauer, Kerner, Rathel with another shot. She's had the hot hand late. This time she drops it over. Oh, great play by Comey. Able to, wow, great play by Regis, but Comey right there to tap it back over. And just like that, it's 23 to 8 with Kennedy Briggins serving, and Regis trying to gather. Never over till it's over, but Regis knows they're in a tough spot now. Morning. Gets that one over. Now Kerner takes that one. Collins is just going to try to hit that one, but it goes long. Nice set off of the return by Kerner, and Collins had a shot out. Just hit it a little bit long. 23 to 9 now as Lillian Lewis back to serve for Regis. From that corner there as Brigham takes that one. Now set up. This is Collins. Collins tipped at the net, into the net, but. Able to clear Collins, hits it back over, and that's going to be a Westby point. So Collins is just right on top of that, and just like that, Westby is serving for the match here and looking for the sweep. Collins serve. Morning takes it. Rittenauer. And here it is. Here's the opportunity. He goes, oh, the set went kind of over the net a little bit, and Rittenauer not ready to be done yet. Hits that one back over. So Adeline Gardner serving match point Westby. Rathel tips that one up. 
Ridenauer. Collins able to hit that one. Now Kerner sets far side. Ratho and that's off of the set. What a great play, but Stellner hits a miss, hits that one, boy. Great dig by, by Margaret Mourning, the libero. Keeps Regis alive, 24 to 11. Gardner serves. Taken by Brigham. A little errant on the pass there, but Collins able to clear. Go opportunity for Regis, and they dumps that over the top of the block attempt by Comey and Stellner. And Ridenauer, the senior, yeah, not quite ready to be done yet. 24 to 12. That serve, great serve taken by Brigham. Now Brigham thought about the overhand hit and said just bumps that one over. Rittenauer stays hot through the block attempt. And nice run here by Lexi Rittenauer. She's kind of willing this team to continue playing. And Westby's going to take a timeout. With that, so will we. But it's match point looking for the sweep for Westby. 24-13. We'll be right back. Well, we're back here. It is still a match point for Westby. Regis has to serve and Adeline Gardner. No room for air for Lady, the Lady Ramblers of Eau Claire Regis. Serve is a good one. Collins takes it. Kerner sets up Stellner for the win, and there it is. Kenzie Stellner gets the attack and the win. 25-13 is your final. Westby is moving on to the regional championship on Saturday with a 25-21 win, 25-21 win in game two, and 25-13 in game three. So this is a three-game sweep, but hats off to Regis. They came in here and battled. Uh, nothing was easy for Westby tonight. Uh, that last game got away from Regis a little bit, but those first two games were a dogfight. And uh, Regis has nothing to hang their heads about as they played really good volleyball tonight. Just fell up a little bit short. You know, there's, there's sweeps that are really one-sided sweeps, and then there's sweeps that, uh, boy, just really good volleyball. And uh, Regis just came up short in the three games. Westby stood tall and are moving on to the regional championship where we will be here to bring you that on Saturday at 7 o'clock that you're going to play the winner of Blair Taylor and Spring Valley. That's the 4-5 game. Blair Taylor won over Whitehall last Tuesday and Spring Valley beat Ohasio Fairchild. They're playing tonight at Blair Taylor. Winner gets to come to Westby and take on the 31-1 Westby Lady Norse Cooley Conference champs. And uh, we're excited to bring you that action. We're going to be here at 7 o'clock. Until then, thank you for dealing with my shoddy voice tonight. I apologize. But hopefully I'll be a little bit better by Saturday. And looking forward to watching Westby potentially bring a regional championship to the field house here. So until 7 o'clock on Saturday, we will we will see you. Thanks for watching. This is Westby Volleyball brought to you by Western Wisconsin Video Productions, LLC. Thank you much.